While my videos can cover literally any topic I feel like chatting about, my general approach has been to take something that interests me, like music or board games or books, and to find positive things to say about that particular entertainment medium. So the question is, how am I going to find positive things to say about a book that I didn't even finish? Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez was recommended to me during an author meet and greet. I had a chance to meet Guy Gabriel Kay, who is one of my favorite fantasy authors, and this was one of the books that he had recommended I check out. So I did. I got roughly 100 pages into the 330 page novel and decided that I would stop at that point. The main reason being that I found the book to be both melodramatic and boring. This could end up being the shortest video I ever made, so don't get up to grab a coffee or anything. I do wonder with books like this, if something's lost in translation. This was originally written in Spanish. And another classic Spanish novel, Don Quixote, was one of the worst books that I had ever read. And that one also left me wondering if I was missing something with the English translation. That being said though, the English translation I read of Les Miserables ended up being one of the best books I've ever read. So I'm sure that's not totally it. In terms of the positive things I can talk about with Love in the Time of Cholera, I would say first of all that there's an interesting historical setting. It covers about 50 years from the late 1800s until the early 1900s. And it takes place on an unnamed Caribbean island, or Caribbean? The Caribbean or Caribbean, or both. And the historical setting and the interaction between the wealthy white characters and the poorer indigenous peoples is kind of interesting. Overall, the book seems to be a fairly detailed character study of a few different characters. So if you're into that kind of in-depth character examinations, you might find it interesting. Now before you go thinking that I have good judgment and you should also avoid this book, keep in mind that this is a winner of the Nobel Prize in Literature. So obviously plenty of people think it's an amazingly great novel. It just wasn't for me. And that's okay. I guess that's it. Hey, it's Josh here. Just wanting to thank you for watching my video. If you want to support me, it would be great if you give me a quick like, a subscribe, and if you share this video with one other book lover in your life. Cheers. Love in the time of Car... Caldera, Gabriel. I got roughly, um, the main reason being because I found the book, the main reason being that I found the book to be generally boring and, the main reason being that I found the book to be generally melodramatic and, so this could end up being the very, so this could end up being the shortest video I've ever made. There were a couple of... In terms of what I can say... Or... So...